She is quite simply the greatest female athlete of her time, probably the greatest in history. And last night, Jackie Joyner Kersey competed at home for the first time since she left to attend UCLA in 1980. Yes, I've been with Jackie since, I guess, 1980, 81, when she came to UCLA up until this point. And this is the most nervous I've ever seen her. Uh, I wasn't nervous. Yeah, you were. <laughs> oh, I was very excited. I was very nervous, too. <laughs> you know? The focus for Jackie last night was not the heptathlon or the long jump, the two events she's made her personal domain over the past decade. Instead, the crowd of almost 10,000 had come to watch the hometown hero compete in the 100-meter hurdles. No one, it was great to be here, but then it was even better. You walk through the gates and you see Go Jackie Go, then you're walking on to the, uh, the, uh, to the track, and then every step that you're taking, everyone is, you know, cheering you on, and I mean, that's uh, motivation within itself. And Jackie would not disappoint, with Linda Tolbert Good, the bronze medalist in the 93 World Championships, next to her in lane one, Joyner Kersey ran a 12.69, the fastest 100 meter hurdles of the year by an American, and her fastest time since 1988. I believe that uh, I have not seen her this quick, I have not seen her uh, this focused uh, uh, in a long time. After her homecoming at the U.S. Olympic Festival here in St. Louis, all that's left for Jackie Joyner Kersey is the 96 Games in Atlanta. Reporting from the U.S. Olympic Festival, Robert Land, News Center 8 Sports.